everyone. Welcome to the September My Path Minicast. I am your host, Tanisha Waddell Pyle, and I am her co host, John Soderberg. Awesome. And just so you guys can see, here are your monthly awareness highlights. All right, great. So those, again, like I said, are your monthly awareness highlights, and hopefully they can help guide and support you through the month for any ideals or planning for the spaces that you're in. There were two key things that came out on the Ready app this month. So being the key highlights from the survey and also being a message from Terry. I'll touch on those key highlights and then I'll pass it over to John. So via email in Ready app, I released the key highlights from the MyPathY DEI survey that we launched this past spring. We had just shy of 600 respondents. So for this magnitude of a survey, 10 to 15 percent is usually pretty good, but we did excellent with the 30 percent response rate. So that was all, and also with that 30 percent response rate, half of those respondents was almost half of them was from our direct care staff. So that was really, really good. Um, so the information highlights key points of all of the data. So again, just highlights. <laughs> there was well over 100 slides of information and it can be viewed in a variety of ways. So it can be sliced in hundreds, if not thousands of ways, as we look forward to using the data and guiding us in the various ways that we can drive DEI impact at MyPath. One of the great things that we learned were that the people of the people who have attended Pathfinder meetings um, felt a greater sense of inclusion and belonging at my path. And they also felt a lot more engaged within the company because they're able to kind of connect and meet with people from across all companies and not just their own company. So yet we still have a lot of people who don't know about the Pathfinders. So still continue to spread the good word and we can get more people engaged and feeling just like how they shared. So. Pass it over to you, John. Yeah. Also, via the Ready app this last month, we received a message from our uh, illustrious CEO, Terry Leahy. And so it was a message that was in response to um, some of the reactions and feelings some of our owners had uh, during Pride Month with the display of the Pride flags. So you can find the full message on the Ready app. And so I won't uh, reiterate it all to you, but in essence, uh, it clarifies what our stance is on this issue and provides you a very valuable why mm -hmm. we do this. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, in the environment we're in, um, in the world and in the space that we occupy, silence is not neutrality. Silence is acquiescence and silence is complicity. So we do want everyone to work at an organization that they feel respected, that they feel they belong to and that they're proud to be a part of. And we hope at my path that's a place for you. Mm -hmm. Again, I would encourage everybody to go to Ready App so they can see that message, understand our why, understand our stance. Because um, it was really good, it was a really solid message, and we had a lot of positive reactions to that coming from our company's leadership. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of, I will jump into highlights um, <laughs> of the Pathfinders and what we did. So I'll talk about the LGBTQ plus Pathfinders because I am one of the chairs. We addressed that message and discussed that within our group. We also talked about um, some more closer to home things that are hitting around Kettle Moraine School District last month. So we've had a lot of reactions to that and a lot of really good insight and feelings and things that people wanted to do and how people were getting involved um, to continue that discussion and look at that. Uh, and look into what was going on there. Next month, um, in response to that, it is next month, September this month, uh, is National Suicide Prevention Month. So we're gonna be talking about suicide prevention, uh, especially when it comes to LGBTQ plus community, because by and large, youth within our community and individuals uh, experience a disproportionately higher rate of serious consideration and attempts of suicide. Um, there's a lot of things that play into that and a lot of reasons that that happens. So we're going to talk about that in our meeting. Uh, just understand that discussion around suicide can be very sensitive. Mm -hmm. So we're aware of that. And our owners should be aware that if you're attending a Pathfinder meeting next month, uh, it's likely that other meetings will be tackling a discussion around suicide. So I just want you to be forewarned that that is a sensitive topic and may elicit particular feelings. So mm -hmm. just be considerate if you do or do not plan to join one of those meetings. Mm -hmm. And then over to Tanisha. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, that's really important to kind of just, you know, take it, go in that space and just kind of um, find center where you can in that if, if those discussions happen. So really want to kind of give that warning first. Um, so yeah, so next I'm just going to kind of give a rundown of the remaining six 
Pathfinder groups and some of the things that they talked about. Again, these are highlights. I cannot stress that enough. There is so much more conversation that happens besides what we're just kind of like sprinkling you with in this mini cast. So always make sure you go to the Ready app, go to the notes or attend the meetings if you can to really be a part of those conversations. So Race and Ethnicity Pathfinders had a rich conversation about the ways that my path and HR handles issues regarding race and ethnicity and, the, and how that directly impacts employees. So there was a lot of great insights and call-ins for enhancing my path and in investigations and recourse processes to really support our own um, and as you guys know, we also have an opening for one position for race and ethnicity pathfinder chair. So currently we are in the selection process and we're looking forward to getting through that, making our final selection and then announcing a new co-chair soon. So be on the lookout for that. Um, women, you know, after the pathfinders, after the past couple of months, they had some really intense um, meetings, you know, with the decision, um, with the leak. For, about the decision about role and then about the role being overturned. So they took this month to have this, I'm sorry, past month to have an opportunity to have a meaningful and centering meeting that focused on self-care and ways to prevent caregiver burnout. And everyone also had the opportunity to participate in a self-care assessment, which was phenomenal. So mm -hmm. it, was a, it was excellent and I highly advise anybody to try it if you can. Um, just, you know, do it on your own, obviously. And you can find that in the Women's Pathfinder August folder. But everybody really found great value in kind of doing that self-assessment. So it was really neat. Um, abilities and neurodiversity. They're looking for ways to improve hiring and interview practices for increasing hiring of individuals with varying um, neurodiversity and abilities, as well as looking at work environments to support owners better. Um, abilities and neurodiversity also has one opening for a chair position. So currently, just like with um, race and ethnicity, we're in the selection process and making our final decisions. And we look forward to, again, announcing the co-chair soon. So that's exciting. Um, environment, they had a really awesome meeting because, you know, the month before we had some Zoom issues. So they were not able to attend their meeting. So everybody showed up super excited for this past month meeting. Um, and we talked about the environmental impacts of being an employee owned company and how becoming um, exploring becoming a B Corp um, organization can have positive impacts on the footprint um, that my path has in Indiana, Wisconsin. If you don't know what B Corp is, that's why you have to go to the notes or kind of look at what's going on to see uh, to learn more about that. So um, they're also raising awareness on cutting the ear loops on masks before you mm -hmm. put them before you put them in a the trash because Masks are having a significant impact on the environment and land and oceans. Um, they're kind of becoming like how those um, plastic rings that go right, around like cans. Soda. Yeah, yeah, like the soda cans, because they're getting trapped around animals' necks. And we just have, a, obviously, a abundance of masks everywhere. So they really are kind of impacting the environment. So cut the mask before you trash. So cut those little <laughs> loops off before you put them in a the trash. They try to help the environment. Um, mental health pathfinders focus on mindfulness and self-care and share a variety of resources to incorporate wellness into your everyday practice. So they had a really great um, meeting, obviously more that you can add to that, but those resources on practicing different mindfulness and meditations, you can find that all in your notes. And I just want to say thank you um, to Rose for Rose Custis um, is is leaving my path and she has found a new role at another company so a new opportunity for her which is exciting so with that so congratulations to rose as well but with that that means that there now is one opening for mental health pathfinder so the journey continues with the um, um filling our pathfinder chair positions so we look forward to who will join chair liz heavy and executive sponsor jessica brandenburg and champion this great work so again if that's something that you're interested in you can reach out to myself um, or you can go to the ready app to find any applications or any information about pathfinder leadership and last but not least we had Generations Pathfinder start last month. So 
That was their very first meeting and they had a wonderful and well attended first meeting. Owners from across a variety of companies came together to see how they can improve efforts generationally at MyPath. Tina and Corey shared an excellent education piece about called navigating the multi-generational workplace. Mm -hmm. So that's obviously really important. And I know that the Generation Pathfinder leaders have already identified that we have six different generations mm -hmm. working at my path. So we definitely want to be able to connect and be able to do work to make sure that we are all working and thriving together. So don't take my word for any of this. As with all the groups, I can highly encourage you to check out the Ready app for all meeting notes, educational videos, and so much more. So just make sure you check that out. And then um, I'm going to pass it over to John. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Ready app, it's sort of where <laughs> the magic happens, guys. So if you don't have the Ready app, um, you hear us say it a lot. I would recommend downloading it because my next thing is about Ready app. <laughs> so we also say about the Pathfinder magic that it the, the magic happens outside of the mm -hmm. meeting, right? Mm -hmm. The meeting is one hour a month. Right. Um, so what we really look at is those actions that people can engage in in between meetings right. and what we can do. And one of the things that we have created is Pathfinder Communities, which can be found in Ready App. Um, so that actually came from um, a brilliant idea from one of our TRS Madison owners, mm -hmm. uh, wanting to find a way to engage with the community between meetings uh, to feel a better sense of belonging. So. Every one of the Pathfinder groups has a Pathfinder community that you can get and access in ReadyApp. You can find the form to join any or all communities. You're welcome to join multiple communities. You can find that in the ReadyApp in the resource tab under DEI in the Pathfinder folder. So we encourage everybody to join. It's a great way to stay connected um, between meetings and to get to know other individuals just outside of your own operating company as well. So we look forward to seeing you guys in communities and we look forward to seeing you joining us during the September meetings and any meeting thereafter. And that is it for us, yeah, thank you. That is it. And even in those communities, you can share pictures, you can yes. share resources, you can tell what the latest awesome sale is or something that is pertinent to any one of your communities. So it really is very engaging. So we highly suggest joining. I feel it. a little called out because she's talking about when I post stuff about what's on sale at Target, but that is okay. <laughs> yes, yes, we all know what the goods are with John in the community. So if all I right. see a deal, I'll let you know. Yes. All right. Well, thank you guys Thanks. so much. And we will see you next month. See ya. Mm -hmm.